Hello Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at who or what can you expect regarding love and relationships similar to the 411 love reading. It's almost dead on actually. Um, as always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate 100% with every single Aquarius watching. So take that in mind, take what resonates for you, what applies to you. Check out your other placements, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign, any other sign of significance for you. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box so that you can look at those other messages and see if they resonate more for you. So let's jump right in to the reading for Aquarius, Spirits, Angels, Guides. What guidance, messages, insight do you have for Aquarius? regarding love and relationship for December. What do we need to know for Aquarius. What do we need to know for Aquarius? Let's see what we get for Aquarius. So what you can expect in love, we have Page of Pentacles reverse, oops, and the Three of Cups, okay. Oops, of course. Uh, any past energies influencing this or any insight on what's happening? For you, the Two of Pentacles reverse and the Six of Swords. Interesting, okay. How are you feeling? What are your energies? Knight of Swords reverse, Seven of Cups reverse, yikes. So right away what I'm getting here is what's influencing what is currently happening is a departure someone decided to leave a situation behind or to leave the past behind and that's influencing what's happening here page of pentacles reverse is usually an offer that someone cannot make to you or something that maybe was a promise but it's been taken back or is delayed an offer that is delayed this is a very small offer though this is kind of like asking someone out on a date or a very basic promise. However, the Page of Pentacles is very dependable. Um, they like to do the right thing and they like to do things um, without rushing. So even though this is a Page of Pentacles, uh, you know, typically when it's upright, it still has the potential for something uh, with longevity. So the fact that he's reversed, either that someone that's delayed in making an offer or could not make you even a small offer. The Three of Cups is here, which is a card about meeting up, celebrating, hanging out, um, being with friends, family, gathering, gathering all together, coming together. Um, so I'm wondering if there is like a reason why the Page of Pentacles is reversed and that has to do with a particular person. So we'll see. Now in your energy, we have the Knight of Swords reverse and the Seven of Cups reverse. You were deceived, but I think that deception made you or or you made a wrong choice based off of the being deceived. So, for example, someone could have misled you and you made a certain choice based off of that and it was the wrong choice. Or someone could have lied to you and you made a choice based off of that lie. Um, or perhaps you made the wrong choice and you feel like you made the wrong choice because now you know that someone was deceptive. We'll see what that's all about. What about their uh, energies? Justice, Libra energy. This could be the person that you have a past with, are currently dealing with, or could come in for you, Aquarius. King of Pentacles, wow. Yeah, this is somebody solid, stable. We'll see what that's about. What do you need to know that you don't know? Any hidden factors? Eight of Swords, Reverse, and the Strength card. Wow, someone's having the strength or the courage to break free of something that was keeping them stuck. Leo energy there. Where is all of this headed in the near future? We have the Queen of Cups, Reverse. Wow, Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. So I, I see a light at the end of the tunnel here for you, Aquarius. I see things um, at least working out a little bit here. It's not all terrible. Uh, okay, what's the overall energy or the root of the situation? Why is all of this happening? Bottom of the deck, three of wands, reverse. So I think something's just delayed or it's taking longer than expected. <clears throat> Someone could be feeling impatient. They don't want to wait anymore for something. We'll see what that's about. Let's clarify.
Can we get some clarity, please? Guidance for Aquarius. Get some clarity. Let me channel about these energies. You know, it's really fascinating. You don't have a lot of major arcanas on the board. Two, only two. So, and also, I don't really see um, a lot of wands on the board either. So when I don't see a lot of major arcanas, I think that the situations that are happening are small, but add up. So how do I explain that? So like, um, th these could be little small things that are happening that are building up to something very important because major arcanas typically are major shifts in energy. So I feel like this is gonna be, you know, it's all about the details. And the fact that there are no wands on the board and the only wand showing up is reverse is telling me there's not a lot of action. Not a lot of uh, passion or creativity or, you know, fire is not here, um, which tells me, you know, things are probably slowly progressing or this is more about emotions, words and thoughts than it is about action, right? So we'll see if I'm right about that. Let's start with what's, why everything is happening. Why is the three of wands reverse? Why is this the overall energy? This three of wands reverse. Ten of Cups, okay. What else can you tell me about the Three of Wands reverse? Why is the Three of Wands reverse? Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Two tens. And then the Strength card reverse at the bottom of the deck. Two tens. Tens are all about completion and endings. Um, tens is a card about something culminating, right? You're getting to the end of something. I think this is based off of timing. There's something here that's probably slowing down or is just, it hasn't been the right time. Um, I feel like someone could have had an idea of a 10 of cups, but they've been waiting forever. Where is my 10 of cups, you know? Where is my happy, peaceful ending? Tell me about this three of wands reverse. Can I get one more? Why is nothing happening, you know? I feel like that's what's, what I'm picking up from this, but can I get one more for the three of wands reverse? Why is the three of wands reverse? The devil, Capricorn energy. Yeah, there's that seven of pentacles. Someone's wondering like, what? what why is nothing happening? And it's probably because there is re someone's feeling restricted or there's a restriction or there was a bad choice made somewhere down the line that's affecting things now. Because the devil sometimes is a card about being led astray. You went down the wrong path. You went based off of your instincts and instant gratification rather than choosing the more measured, um, you know, uh, longer road right like you, you you wanted to take a shortcut and it cost you because now you're stuck this is fascinating to me so someone here's wondering what's the future going to look like anxious about what's happening what's the future and i say someone because this could be you aquarius or this could be the person you're dealing with so what's going on here with this Page of Pentacles reverse? This is what you can expect in November. Why is the Page of Pentacles reverse? Oh, yikes. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, another ten. Why? Uh, if, you know, and I mentioned the tens because I feel like this is leading up to something. The ten is here to tell me that there's going to be an ending that is already on its way or is taking place. And now there's a new beginning on the horizon. Why the Page of Pentacles reverse? Why? Why is the Page of Pentacles reverse? Five of Swords. So there's conflict here, baggage, difficulty um, with the Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords. Someone's not playing fair with the Five of Swords. Deception again. They're very deceptive. The Five of Swords doesn't want to lose. They don't want to. Um, they don't want to uh, 
look like a failure. And so they self-sabotage because they, they, they just do things wrong. Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here for Aquarius? Judgment, yikes. Judgment is here. Three of Cups, wow, what are the odds? And there's the Seven of Cups. Judgment is here because you need to realize something about this Three of Cups. There is something you need to see clearly about this Three of Cups that you're not seeing clearly because you're se you have the Seven of Cups reverse. Or perhaps you're seeing clearly now that someone deceived you, that someone wasn't being right or wasn't playing fair. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. This Three of Cups is important. Why is this Three of Cups here? What can you tell us, Spirit? about this three of cups oh i got two seven of wands nine of cups justice wow at the bottom of the deck four of wands death scorpio energy four of cups Okay, let's break this down. Seven of Wands is a card about standing up for your beliefs, defending yourself, facing challenges and obstacles, resistance. Nine of Cups is about emotional satisfaction, about being very satisfied with your success, almost smug. You're just very proud of yourself and you got what you wanted. But justice is here with judgment. Oh my God, those two are like major when they're together. And justice showed up for your person. So I'm almost getting like, there's a final decision that probably takes place here that brings someone a lot of satisfaction or brings someone their wish granted. And they had to fight for this. And it's regarding a third person or regarding coming together. Let me get one more. Why is the Three of Cups here? What can you tell me about this Three of Cups? Why is the Three of Cups here? Page of Wands. Nine of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Oh my God, there's so much happening here, Aquarius. This is not gonna be a simple reading. I am already picking that up. And it's probably not gonna resonate with every single person watching. Be uh, this is a complex situation. There's many layers, many moving parts. There's a lot to be worried about and stressed about. There's trust issues here, baggage, deception. You know what I mean? I feel like someone's taking the initiative with this page of wands, starting something. But the nine of wands is here, almost as if to say, like, someone's worried page of pentacles shows up and there's more worry here with the nine of swords knight of swords is here and then justice again so i feel like this is all kind of about to blow <laughs> it's just kind of what i'm getting whatever this is with judgment judgment brings clarity judgment is an awakening judgment is a realization someone's going to realize something about this whole situation and if you're dealing with a libra watch that reading because it was very similar energy someone's going to have a realization about maybe they were fighting for the wrong thing this whole time maybe they were fighting out of stubbornness but they realize that at the end they're just going to lose whatever realization this is is maybe bringing someone or, or, or someone's taking the initiative based off of that realization Let's see what else we get because I feel like this is going to probably get make more sense the more we continue. Why is the Two of Pentacles reversed with the Six of Swords? There was a departure some, somewhere here. Or someone is leaving a situation and it's bringing this to the forefront. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles reverse with the Six of Swords. Six of Wands. Two of Wands. 
and seven of cups again so someone i feel is 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 making a choice that they feel will bring them success maybe there was not enough clarity for them they were like screw this or they don't really know where they're going they just know that they're going to be more successful wherever they're going rather than where they're they're at yeah ten of swords some of you are definitely dealing with a libra check out that reading because it mo most likely will resonate for you it's kind of like the same situation or similar situation or if you have libra in your chart but yeah there's another 10 something ended here let's look at your energies because now i'm like really curious what the hell is going on using my seller energy oracle deck this is my own deck that i designed and I use it all the time it's linked in the uh, description box if you're curious <clears throat> along with all the other decks that i have here can we get some insight into the energies that aquarius oh that was not that's not it doesn't belong there okay okay can i get some insight into the uh, energy that aquarius is bringing to this situation to this connection budding romance new love romance courtship romance is in the air okay some of you could have new love coming in others of you this was a new connection this wasn't like a really long connection long term you know tell me about the person aquarius is has or will be dealing with what are their energies what do we need to know about them difficult decision options choice and decision this decision could lead you down two different paths so this person's making a choice we get another one a choice about what tell me about difficult decision what can you tell me about difficult decision oops what can you tell me about difficult decision for this person cold shoulder i want another one reach out so this is someone deciding whether to reach out, maybe deciding to make a judgment call here with judgment call and justice. Decision, knowledge, logic. A judgment call is being made using logic and reason. This is somebody that I feel is wanting to reach out, is taking the initiative or is debating whether they should reach out and take the initiative here. Cold shoulder, silence, distance, coldness. So they could be out in the cold right now and thinking about coming back in. This could be somebody on their best behavior wanting to make things right with you. Let's see. Four. Where is? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Tell me about the Knight of Swords reverse with the seven of cups reverse tell me about the knight of swords reverse with the seven of cups reverse three of pentacles tell me about the knight of swords reverse let's see that one alone three of cups yeah this is all related tell me about the seven of cups reverse why is the seven of cups reverse ace of pentacles Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck, the higher font. I feel like what happened here is someone deceived you or you had an argument because of another person or with another person. Someone else could have gotten in the way here or there was a deception about another person. I think this Ace of Pentacles was an illusion. I don't think, I think it looked bright and shiny, but it wasn't. Tell me about the Seven of Cups reverse. Can I get one more for the Seven of Cups reverse? Yeah, Eight of Cups. This person probably made you a promise or want, told you they were going to commit to you, but I feel like you walked away from them or they walked away from you. It didn't last is kind of what I'm getting. This is also someone that's constantly wandering, looking for something, the Eight of Cups. So they're probably on a journey somewhere else. I think this was an illusion. I think you cut your losses, Aquarius, and you were like, I've done everything I can. I'm out. Eight of Cups, Six of Swords. So tell me about Justice and the King of Pentacles. 
Tell me about justice and the king of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. Yeah, so this person's focused. What else about justice and the king of pentacles? What can you tell me about justice? The emperor. Yeah, this is somebody definitely focused on trying to make things right. Aries energy. Can I get one more for justice and the king of pentacles? Four of swords. So there's no communication or action that this person is really taking, which is interesting. Because the eight of pentacles is here. Usually that's someone that's actively working on something. What's this four of swords about? Why is this four of swords here? Why is this four of swords here? The world. So I feel like this is somebody that hasn't really taken action or isn't really communicating. They're just thinking about a new beginning. Reflecting, healing, resting, but not really doing anything. Um, there might be imagining a new beginning with a two of cups, but yeah, five of cups. All they have to do is kind of feel sorry for themselves, I feel. They have regrets because maybe they're not going after what they truly want here. Yeah, this is your person. Maybe they want to be with you, but you don't want to be with them. Or maybe they've made you a promise about doing something. And when they didn't do it, that was like the nail in the coffin. You were done. Or perhaps you caught this person in a lie and they wanted to make things right and show you that they are serious about you and are willing to commit to you but you're not seeing the action you've been waiting i feel where where is the action where is the outcome that you promised me or that you said was going to happen blah 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 blah. where is it <clears throat> i think you're realizing that you were in a way played like they played you or you caught them in a lie something like that So what do you need to know that you don't know? Tell me about the Eight of Swords, Reverse, and Strength. Why is the Eight of Swords, Reverse, and Strength? Well, usually this together means someone has the strength to leave a situation. Why is the Eight of Swords, Reverse, with Strength? Why is the Eight of Swords, Reverse, with the Strength card? The Queen of Cups, the Sun. Why is the Eight of Swords, Reverse? Oops, that's way too many. Why is the Eight of Swords reversed here with the Strength card? Why is the Eight of Swords reversed with the Strength card? Okay, they gave me two. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords shows up again. Worry, Anxiety, Five of Pentacles. This is your person, the Fool and the High Priestess. This is your person. Your person is the one with the Nine of Swords. They're worried because they're out in the cold and they, they're they saying they're taking a leap of faith probably or ready for a new beginning, but when it really comes down to it, they're not. The hangman, the high priestess, and the seven of swords. They're stuck. They're deceptive. Or they're saying what they don't mean or, or keeping the truth from you in some way. This person's worried. They're worried about being left behind, but I feel like you've found the courage to, to get out of this. To find your own happiness, to go after something that's more successful, um, a long-term commitment or something that has the potential for a long-term commitment. Because I see you here, I think you're this Queen of Cups with the Sun and the Ten of Pentacles. And I see you here having a new offer coming in for you. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. And it could be that maybe you have a new love coming in and new love interest, someone that catches your eye, a friend that you make or something, and it's like it illuminates you or you realize something. This is how love's supposed to be, or this is more what I'm looking for, or something like that. Tell me about the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. What do we need to know about this? Five of Pentacles. Oh, never mind. 
Tell me about the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Let's see. Let me not jump the gun. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Eight of Wands. Why is the Queen of Cups here? With an Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Cups here with the Ace of Pentacles? Three of Swords. Okay, so never mind. I feel like you are ready for something new and I think this is the person that you're leaving behind. They're gonna try to still make you an offer, but like I said, they don't really have anything to give you. Not really. They don't have anything to give you. They can't deliver. I think when they show up with an offer, you might walk away from them because you don't want to deal with this three of cups. You don't want to deal with the deception anymore. You don't want to deal with the empty promises. You are done, I feel. And this person isn't dealing well with it. I still feel like some of you are going to get something new. It's like a new offer helps you leave. I, I also see that. This could be a new job offer, financial offer, bonus. Um, an opportunity that shows up and then you just are like, this is my chance. Bye. I see all those different messages. You know what I don't see on this board? I don't see a page of cups. I don't see a knight of cups. Um, I don't see an ace of cups. I don't see an ace of wands. I don't see, you know, someone extending an offer. I don't see a two of cups. I don't see a six of cups. You know what I'm saying, right? I feel like this didn't really have, whoever you were with Aquarius, it did. It was never truly solid, I feel. Or the emotional aspect of like someone being open emotionally, I don't think was truly there. Tell me about this eight of wands. Can I get one? Okay, five of cups. So someone, this person is probably going to come to you and be like, I'm sorry, I don't want to lose you. I have so many regrets in my life. Yeah. I have the courage now to do what's right, you know. I don't, I, I'm, I'm going to take control over this situation, you know. This person's gonna try, but there's a nine of, uh, nine of wands, knight of swords, and magician. They're trying to make this happen. And I think it's because they don't want you to leave. They don't want this to end. They don't want to lose what whatever it is that they had with you. And I don't know, like, where's the lovers, right? Like, where is the genuine, like, love, king of cups, page of cups, ace of cups, you know, six of cups, page of pentacles, knight of pentacles. Like, give me something. Like, they're all here still. Ace of Wands, Knight of Cups, King of Pentacles again. Like, I would love for any of these to come out. But they're not. There's a Two of Cups. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I think this is a very complicated situation. And I've, I've probably missed some things because tarot can only be so specific, right? There's not one card that exists about, I have baby mama problems, right? Or a card that exists about, like, you cheated. Like, there's no such thing. <laughs> so tarot cannot get that specific, right? But fill in the blanks here, right? Fill in the blanks. You can read between the lines and see where this applies to your situation. I feel like there's a lot of layers here. And probably a lot of things that happened to cause someone to walk away. Because someone has definitely walked away. And I'm inclined to believe it's you just because you have the Eight of Cups. But of course, flip it if it resonates more for you. But someone definitely walked away. And it's because this was BS. This is all BS here with judgment and, ju and, and the Five of Swords and the Three of Cups. And judgment, uh, someone figured someone else out. Or, so, or this judgment card illuminated someone to the idea that they were being played in some way. You were played, whether it was by a friend you trusted, a lover you trusted, another person. You were played. And I hate that for you, to be honest. I don't think anybody deserves that. And you know, you had a reading recently where the title was, this wasn't fair to you. I feel like this is the same BS, just continuing. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you. I hope you had some sort of insight based off of this reading. 
hit that like button and subscribe if you did enjoy the reading. Um, and also make sure you subscribe if you want to know about the 2022 outlook for love because those videos are coming very soon. And if you don't want to miss it, you want to make sure you're subscribed. Uh, thank you so much once again, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.